So the first thing you need to do, of course, and that's the normal structure now in our lessons, is to try to get access to the controllers. Let's take a 5508 as an example. If you take that box, it has a few interfaces that you need to be aware of so that you can connect to it. The first one, of course, is the console. This is where you have the CLI connection. In the autonomous access points, it's typically an RJ45 connection. In this solution, you have actually two possibilities. One of them is the RJ45 that you find also on switches. But there is also a mini USB connection at the front in the middle. This is very useful if you do not want to use the older now RJ45 connection, but want to use this newer USB to mini USB connection so that you can manage your controllers with a newer interface without having to have an adapter that connects your USB into an RGB9 and then the RJ45. So that's the CLI. There is another interface which is very nice and it's called a service port. What this one does is that it's an out-of-band management interface. It will have a different IP address from the rest of your network and from the rest of your controller connections. And what you do is that you can connect to a subnet where that service port connects and you can get a web interface that is an access into the controller. However, be careful, there is no data traffic through that port. It's only for you to manage the controller. Think of it as a canyon type of thing where you have a view of the network you can configure it, but there is no client data traffic that goes through there. It's purely a management port. All right, so that's a service port. Then the last two interfaces that you want to be aware of are, first of all, on the far side, redundancy port. What this one does is that you would connect to it and connect to the network and to some other controller, and that allows you to set up some single sign-on and high availability system between these two controllers so that if ever one of them fails, the other one immediately will take over and take ownership of your access point and your clients. Through that redundancy port, the controller is going to synchronize their configuration so that there is always a match between what the controller knows, which is managing your clients, and what the backup knows that may be taking over. And then all the interfaces that you see in the middle, those are going to be the connection to your network. Those are one gig interfaces on the 5508 as an M state 8. You have eight of these interfaces. You can connect one, several, or all of them to your network. And there you'll have traffic going to and from the controller to the access points, to the radio servers, to everywhere. And you can also use the IP address of your controller on those interfaces to connect to the interface and manage your controller. So that was on a larger controller, the 5508. But what if you have a smaller controller for smaller environments like the 2504? So this one also has a console port, as you can see on the side. So you can still connect and get a CLI connection to the controller. It also has management interfaces less than a 5508 because it's a smaller controller. So you'll be controlling less access points, up to 75 on this one. So it has only four of those interfaces. What about the service interface? Well, it's not there. What about the redundancy port? It's not there either. So you will not be able to use this out-of-band management with the service port interface to manage the controller. You will have to use either the console or use the management interface. And by the way, because there is no redundancy port, you cannot use that controller and connect it to another for a high availability system. For networks for which these controllers are designed, high availability is not that critical that it has to be instantaneous if ever the controller fails. So in these lessons, we'll probably be using that controller more than the others. I will show you different interfaces, but this one is typical of a smaller size controller. And it also has something kind of specific, which is very interesting for the 8.0 code that you have on the CCNA wireless, which is the WLAN express setup function. Let's move on and see what that is.